Tēnā koe taku hoa o te kauta. Good to see you again, my friend of the kitchen. <laughs> Thank you for coming back again. Hetika te kōrero, it is true. You are very rongonui, very famous these days for using Māori herbs and spices. So what are we going to use today? Um, we're actually going to use horopito. Um, horopito is actually getting more widely used in different lodges around New Zealand and it's, it's about introducing our native herbs um, on a culinary level. Mm. So um, today we're actually infusing it with um, noodles. Ah. A satay noodle type. Mete tofiru hoki, what about our dessert? For our dessert, we're actually going to make a blueberry pancake, but I'm going to infuse the maple syrup with horopito. So all that hot spiciness is actually going to be infused in the syrup. Koia kai akwe, hoa, you're good, all right. And I must say, ngamahi noi kia akwe, you've done really well in sharing the knowledge and basically spreading the word about many of our herbs. Yeah. It's about keeping our traditions alive in another form. Noodara, so a bunch of noodles? Yep, noodles. All we're going to do is just drop this straight into a bowl, ah. uh, hot boiling water, cover it with clean wrap, and just let it sit there because it'll naturally cook itself over time. So what I'm going to do here when this heats up uh, we're actually going to make just the sauce type. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to start with one teaspoon of peanut oil, two tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce, one teaspoon of grated ginger, two tablespoons of light peanut butter, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of fish sauce, half a cup of water, also half a cup of light coconut evaporated milk, two teaspoons of castor sugar, and one horopito leaf. So what we also utilize is your fresh chili. We'll add small bits, but we'll just see how the heat of it all comes. Gotta try it, like all things. Kua pai. so yep. is that good now? Yep. And how do we know that it's ready? So what I'm looking for in terms of the consistency of the satay sauce is the back of a spoon when it starts. <laughs> looks more like a caramel or it's actually uh, adhering to the back of a spoon um, rather than just roll straight off. So that way there I know it's going to actually stick to the pasta. It's just going to be used as a nice um, glaze or marinade over the pasta that we've cooked. So that's beautiful. Like yeah. Oh, yum. Rawe. Peanutty. Yeah, peanutty. Not too spicy. A bit of kick there. No, but yeah, I also, warm afterwards. Yeah. So we're pretty much ready to start the stir fry. So what are our ingredients? How ngā kai do? You can put any kind of ingredient that you want to. Carrots, cabbage, an onion. We're going to utilise the capsicum, a couple of green beans. What I do with, um, usually with carrots, especially with a stir fry, is you just keep peeling it and just long streaks. It'll do two things. It'll cook a lot faster than it would if you were to dice it. And not only that, this is the sort of things that you can get your children to do, your husband to do. And really the key thing to cooking vegetables is keeping it simple too. The more simple you keep it, the better. So really in terms of prepping all your vegetables, that's really all your vegetable prep. So add our onions. I'm just going to add our garlic in there. And we're actually just going to keep adding all our other ingredients in there. Even the beans, capsicum. It's like a rainbow in there. Kei te rata karu, kei te rata hoki a ihu. Both my eyes and nose are liking the smell and look at that. Now we'll add our noodles. Awesome. So those noodles get quite a lot fatter, don't they? Yeah, they sure do, because it just expands um, all noodles double in size. Last thing, we're going to add our sauce to it. Look, that looks like a and beautiful sauce. Pour it all over there. I will just keep moving it and getting all that marinade into all those vegetables. Finally chopped up some almond nuts, grab some coriander, sprinkle it over. Beautiful. So easy, so delicious looking, really fresh. Me kai katika, we really need to try this. Mmm. 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 
Katahite ranu e hoa. I love that sauce. <laughs> and the good thing is it's not like a packaged sauce. It does not take long to cook. To put it all together, that sauce you can hold in the fridge. Ah. No, you don't have to put it on and use it straight away. Sino pai te tawara horopito kai tenei kai. Horopito works, you know, in savoury dishes. It's just got that nice little hint of sweet chilli, horopito. Maramana tenna, so I can understand that, but I just don't see how you're going to put horopito in a dessert. <laughs> yeah, not many people do. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one cup of self-raising flour, two tablespoons of sugar, one egg, three-quarter cups of milk. We don't need to use the whisk or anything? No, nah, it'll, it'll eventually combine. The main focus is the blueberries and <laughs> all of those, so the other strawberries that we're using in the syrup. So what are the ingredients? Is this where the horopito comes in again? This is where the horopito comes in again. It's all about just infusing the syrup. So what's actually in it is just 100 mils of maple syrup, one horopito leaf, and about 100 grams of frozen strawberries. Ara te pata. Mm -hmm. So there's the butter. Am I just putting the butter in and making them like crepes or yeah. like pancakes? We're actually making them like a pancake, so it's going to slightly puff up. Matotoru ni, so ehara ite angi angi, so you don't want it too thin. No, you don't want it too thin. Okay, you show me the first one. We actually use just a teaspoon or a tablespoon, I mean, and we're just going to pour one right in there. And the key thing to, to this type of pancake is actually cooking it slowly. And then what you're waiting for is you're just waiting for it to start to bubble at the top. Once you see the bubbles, you can actually drop a blueberry straight on top. Mm. Yeah, so we've got bubbles. Yep, to oh, see how it'll partly sink into it. Mm -hmm. And then now that's actually ready to be turned over. It'll finish itself off on the other side. So what else do we have to do? Last thing we have to finish off is Chantilly cream. How did you go with So what does that mean? So it's whipped cream with vanilla um, essence or vanilla seed pods as well as icing sugar. So all we're going to do, pour in a half cup of cream. Right. These are the vanilla pods that have already been um, extracted, pretty much put straight into here. Mm. Makes it a lot easier for cooking. And how much we got of the icing sugar? And yeah. just a tablespoon. And the world's smallest tartari. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason why we sieve it through is because it, that way then none of these crystals that are actually already in there will sit in the cream. Bye. And the key to whisking is what they refer to as a figure eight. So how are you going to serve this up? Um, we're just going to do a stack of pancakes with the syrup on the side. Chantilly cream, Cornell, done. They look amazing, these pancakes. Whoa. Crisp little out on the panakeke. Creamy, and you the creamy no, it's not just any cream. And then the horopito, who would have guessed it lent itself so well mm. to the tofiro, this little dessert. Pairawa. Kia ora, Thank you. Mm.